போனார் ஹாஸ் பைட் இந்த சந்தா அவர் என்ன எழுதி ரைட்டு பசார் Hi friends, how are you? I am P. Sony, first by PC from GV Gudem. Welcome to Mana TV Botany Slot. Friends, Botany is a great subject. Do you agree with me? Even though the technology has been developed, the entire mankind depends upon plants. So, you know, Botany has a greatest importance due to the wonderful mechanism present in the plants. That is, what you know? Yes, friends. that is none other than photosynthesis not only photosynthesis but also oxygen so you know 90% of the population depends upon a single plant that is oryza sativa so friends now let us involve into our topic friends do you know what is a cell yes friends you are absolutely right cell is the basic structural and functional unit of a life so you know that the cell is having two basic types so friends first you see to the power point see here is a process of photosynthesis see friends here we can see the process of photosynthesis so you know you know about cell so what is the difference between plant cell and animal cell listen carefully friends what is the difference between plant cell and animal cell yes friends now let us see the picture of plant cell and animal cell friends see here is a wonderful picture of plant cell and animal cell so friends what differences you can observe from this plant cell and animal cell yes friends you are right in plant cell we can see that cell wall chloroplast and vacuole is present and in animal cell we can't see the cell wall vacuole or chloroplast so this is the difference between plant cell and animal cell so we are saying cell is the basic structural and functional unit of your life so here you know cell is of two basic types listen friends you know now we have discussed that what cell what is a cell so friends we are saying that cell is of two basic types they are prokaryotic and eukaryotic listen carefully friends are you following me see friends cell is of two basic types they are prokaryotic and eukaryotic cell so what is the difference between prokaryotic and eukaryotic see friends pro means false karyotic means nucleus if the disorganized nucleus is present that is the nucleus is not covered by the nuclear membrane it is called prokaryotic cell listen friends next one is eukaryotic eu means true karyotic means nucleus so if the organized nucleus is present that is the nucleus is covered by the nuclear membrane is called as eukaryotic cell so now let us see the picture of prokaryotic and eukaryotic see friends here the beautiful pictures of prokaryotic and eukaryotic what differences you can observe here yes friends you are right here see in the prokaryotic cell we can see that disorganized nucleus is present whereas in eukaryotic organized nucleus is present so this is the difference between prokaryotic and eukaryotic so friends we all know that cell is having nucleus in that nucleus we can see that dna is present 
so this dna is present in the chromosomes listen carefully friends the cell is having nucleus in that nucleus we can see that chromosomes are present in that chromosomes dna is present so now let us see what is dna and its structure see friends here is a structure of dna so here we can see that dna is having double helix structure see friends here dna is having double helix structure this is the double helix structure and it is having base pairs these are the base pairs friends this base pair is having adenine thymine guanine and cytosine this adenine always pairs with thymine and guanine always pairs with cytosine so we are saying that dna is present in chromosomes so then what is chromosome see friends now let us see the chromosome structure here is the structure of chromosome friends see this these are called arms see friends these are called arms if it is only one chromosome we can say that it is a homologous chromosome and if there are two it means it, if it produces the same identical copy we can say it as sister chromatids so see if here friends here a knob like structure which is the primary constriction present in the center this is called as you know yes friends centromere this is called as centromere see how interesting this is here we can see that dna is present in this chromosome so here is a secondary constriction that is called satellite friends and also a disc like shape which is present behind the centromere is called as kinetochore see here here we can see the kinetochore so this is the structure of chromosome friends have you ever wonder why some children do not look exactly like their parents or why some siblings looks so different friends the answer lies in the meiosis so you know that here in meiosis mm, we can say that crossing over is occurring due to that genetic variations is happening the cell which occurs the cell division which occurs in this process is called as meiosis so then what is meiosis do you know anything anything about meiosis see friends now today we will discuss about the meiosis and its significance listen carefully friends meiosis and its significance friends are you following me do you know anything meiosis and its significance yes today we can see this is the meiosis and its significance see listen friends here you know even a large organism also start their life from a single cell you may wonder why a large organism also start their life from a single cell friends here it is in the process of cell division listen carefully friends due to the process of cell division even a large organism also start their life from a single cell so we are saying that it is process in the cell division so this cell division is of two types friends see here the cell division is of two types they are mitosis and meiosis listen carefully friends here the cell division is of two types they are mitosis and meiosis what is mitosis and meiosis do you know anything about mitosis and meiosis listen friends mitosis it is nothing but if the cell division occurs in other than reproductive cells it is called as mitosis see friends and what is meiosis means here if the cell division occurs in the reproductive cells this is called as meiosis so we have discussed about the meiosis so now let us discuss about the history of meiosis you know anything about the history of meiosis so listen friends here this meiosis was firstly discovered and described in c archin x so see here we have discussed that genetic variations is happening due to the meiosis so see friends here look at this picture see here the genetic variations occurred because here meiosis happened so due to that genetic variations is occurring 
So, C. C friends, this is the significance of meiosis and history. Listen carefully friends, this meiosis was firstly discovered and described in C. Urchin X in 1876 by the German biologist Oskar Hertwig. Friends, are you following me? See here, he is the Oskar Hertwig. See friends, he is the Oskar Hertwig. So, it was described again in 1883 by the Belgian zoologist Edward van Beneden. Listen carefully friends, Edward van Beneden in 1883 in Ascaris worm sex. So, the significance of meiosis for reproduction and inheritance was described in 1890. You know who is him? Yes friends, he is August Weissman. See, he is the August Weissman. Friends, are you following me? He is the August Weissman. So, he noted that cell division were necessary and here it is necessary to transform diploid cells into haploid cells. So, friends, another thing in 1911, see, here, he is the Thomas Hunt Morgan, friends. He is the Thomas Hunt Morgan. So, in 1911, this Thomas Hunt Morgan observed the crossover in Drosophila melanogaster and he proved the evidence. What evidence means? He proved the evidence that genes are transmitted on chromosomes. So, friends, now we have discussed about the history of meiosis. You know, this meiosis occurs in eukaryotic life cycle. Friends, did you understand? This meiosis occurs in eukaryotic life cycle, use, utilizing the sexual reproduction. And here, the intermediary step between diploid cells and haploid cells where the organisms grow. And you know, here the organisms grow no? at certain stages, the germ cell produces gametes. Friends, listen, here at certain stages, the germ cells produces gametes. Uh, but it is a meiotic division. Here, somatic cells make up the body of the organisms, but they do not involve in the gamete production. It is the mitotic cell division. So, we are saying that meiotic cell division and mitotic cell division. I will pose a question for you friends. Mm, in which cell division we can see that meiotic takes place? Yes, you are absolutely right friends. Here in germ cells, meiotic cell division is happening. So, which cell division involving in the gamete production and which cell division will not involve in the gamete production? Yes, friends, you are absolutely right. Here germ cells involve in the gamete production and somatic cells will not involve in the gamete production. So, you know, here in this sense, there are three types of life cycles. Friends, are you following me? In this sense, there are three types of life cycles utilizing the sexual reproduction. And the three types of life cycles are, first one is, you know anything about the three types of life cycles? Listen friends, here are the three types of life cycles. The first one is gametic life cycle. See, this gametic life cycle is also called as diplontic life cycle. Friends, observe. And the second one is zygotic life cycle friends. And the third one is poric life cycle. So, these are the three types of life cycles. So, friends, we are saying the three types of life cycle and here we are saying that cell division is of two types, mitosis and meiosis. So, this meiosis is or this occurs in the two phases. See friends, this meiosis occurs in two phases. Do you know what are the two? Yes friends, it is a meiosis 1 and meiosis 2. Here, this meiosis occurs in meiosis 1 and meiosis 2. So then, what is meiosis and what is meiosis 1 and what is meiosis 2? What happens in meiosis 1 and 2 friends? Yes friends, you are absolutely right. Here in meiosis 1, see. Now we will see here. See, in meiosis 1, the chromosomes duplicate. See, friends, here we can see that the chromosomes duplicate. 
in meiosis 1 and the homologous chromosomes exchange the genetic information this one. So, here in meiosis 1 the chromosomes duplicate and the homologous chromosomes exchange the genetic information. So, then what is meiosis 2? Yes friends you are absolutely right in meiosis 2 we can see that the daughter cells divide again and see here, here we can see that daughter cells divide again in meiosis 2 see here the daughter cells divide again and the splitting up of sister chromatids takes place this is the meiosis 2. So, before going to know more stages about the meiosis now let us discuss about interface see here is the interface friends yeah here is a wonderful picture of interface listen interface what is interface listen friends it is nothing but the time gap between one meiotic division to another meiotic division is called as interface so see let us see now this interface is having three phases they are growth one this growth one is denoted by g1 and next one is synthesis it is denoted by s and the third one is growth 2 it is denoted by g2 so friends these are the three types of life cycles so we are saying that there are three types of life cycles so what happens in these three types of life cycles so now let us discuss about this friends see in see here in growth one here this is the growth one friends this growth one is very active phase <coughs> friends are you following me growth one is very active phase and the synthesis this is the synthesis see here in growth one again another thing friends here in growth one the cell synthesis proteins enzymes and structural proteins so here we can see that um, in g1 each of the chromosome consists of a single linear molecule of dna listen friends here in G1 each of the chromosome consists of a single linear molecule of DNA. This is the growth one. So, the next one is synthesis. What is synthesis? What happens in synthesis? Listen friends here in synthesis. Observe carefully this is the synthesis. So, here the genetic material is replicated. See friends the genetic material is replicated. It means the DNA is replicated. So, it produces listen friends here it produces the same copy it is the identical copy they are called as sister chromatids. So, we are saying that it is producing same copy and also here the centrioles duplicate friends here the centrioles duplicate and extend into microtubules this here and also here in interface we can see that sister chromatids they condense it means they become thick during the interface. So, friends this here next one is growth 2. See we have completed growth 1 synthesis and the now growth 2. So, what is growth 2? It is nothing but friends growth 2. Here is this growth 2 we can observe in mitosis but it is not present in the meiosis. This interface follows meiosis 1 and meiosis 2. You know friends here this meiosis involves two sequential cycles that is nuclear and cell division called meiosis 1 and 2. So friends another thing this meiosis involves pairing of homologous chromosomes. Friends are you following me this meiosis involves pairing of homologous chromosomes and recombination between them. It is it is a key feature. So we, are, we have discussed that this meiosis is having steps. Now, let us discuss the steps of meiosis. See friends, here we can see that here in meiosis 1, this prophase 1, metaphase 1, anaphase 1 and telophase 1, these are the steps of meiosis 1 and in meiosis 2, they are prophase 2, metaphase 2, anaphase 2 and telophase 2 these are the steps of meiosis so what happens here means listen friends here first one is prophase 1 see now let us discuss about prophase 1 so 
here this prophase 1 is the first meiotic division. Listen carefully friends, this prophase 1 is the first meiotic division. So, here in prophase 1 we are saying that it is a first meiotic division. It has been subdivided into 5 phases. See friends, here it have been subdivided into 5 phases depending on chromosomal behavior. So, this prophase is typically longer and more complex as compared to mitosis. So, friends, now let us discuss about the 5 stages or 5 phases. See, here in prophase 1 we can see first one is leptotene. So, here the chromosomal behaviors are different due to that they are differentiated. See here first one is leptotene friends and the second one is zygotene, third one is pachytene, fourth one is diplotene and diakinesis. These are the five phases in prophase 1. So, here in prophase 1 DNA is exchanged between the homologous chromosomes. Listen friends, here in prophase 1 DNA is exchanged between the homologous chromosomes. It is happening in a process. The process is, you know, what is the process? Yes, friends, the process is homologous recombination. It is what? Homologous recombination. So, you know that this homologous chromatids form side by side and in a process called synapsis. It forms tetrod or bivalent. So, then we are saying that it is forming in a process. So, what is that synapsis? What is synapsis? Listen carefully friends. Are you following me? What is synapsis? Yes, you are absolutely right friends. Synapsis is nothing but here we can say that the process of pairing of homologous chromosomes. Listen, the process of pairing of homologous chromosomes is called as synapsis. When the crossing over occur, a new DNA is formed. From that new DNA, a new character is forming. So, we are saying that there are five phases here. So, now let us discuss about the leptotene, first stage of prophase 1. See friends, <coughs> leptotene, see, leptotene is nothing but, here leptotene is the first stage of prophase 1. So, this leptotene is also called as leptonema. So, friends, listen carefully. At this stage, the chromosomes condenses. See, now let us see the leptotene structure. See friends here, see they are thick, thin in size. So, here we cannot see with our naked eye. Due to that, we can see only under the light microscope. See friends, here a knob like structures also we can see these. These are called beads on string. It is looks like beads on string. So, here in leptotene, this we can see that chromosomes are condensing. Listen friends, chromosomes condenses but the sister chromatids are still tightly bound. It is very short duration. So, listen this is the leptotene and the next one is friends, zygotene. So, this is the zygotene. So, what can you understand from this picture? What you observe from this picture? Yes friends, here pairing occurs between the homologous chromosomes. See, here pairing occurred. So, here zygotene is nothing but friends, during this phase, the pairing starts together. Listen friends, during this phase, the chromosomes start pairing together. And here at this stage, the synapsis or homologous chromosomes takes place and form a complex structure. That is, you know, synaptonymal complex. What is synaptonymal complex friends? Yes, here the synapsis or homologous chromosomes takes place and form a complex structure is called as synaptonymal complex. So, here we are saying that pairing is happening here. The pairing starts at chromosome or at centromere or at any other portion friends. So, here these paired chromosomes are tetrod or bivalent. So, this is the zygotene. So, now let us see the next one. What is the next one friends? Yes, pachytene. So, here in pachytene we can see that here during this phase the bivalent clearly appears as tetrod. 
see friends here we can see this is the tetrod during this phase the bivalent clearly appears as tetrods and we know that crossing is an enzyme mediated process what yes crossing is an enzyme mediated process so the enzyme involved in this process is called as recombinase listen carefully friends this crossing is an enzyme mediated process so the enzyme involved in this process is called as recombinase so the recombination between the homologous chromosomes ends by this pectin so here another thing friends you know uh, when the crossing over occur a x shaped structure is forming listen carefully friends when the crossing over occur a x shaped structure is forming that is called chesmata friends are you following me here the x shaped structure is called as chesmata so now we have completed pectin so the next one is diplotin see friends diplotin what can you understand from this friends what did you understand do you know anything about this so listen see friends here diplotin is nothing but here the synaptonemal complex degrades listen friends synaptonemal complex degrades and the chromosomes are separating from one another see here we can see that the chromosomes are separated from one another this here even though they are separated they are associated at the centromere friends here it is the centromere so they are associated at the centromere this is the diplotin so then the next one is listen carefully friends the next one is diakinesis this is the diakinesis so you know anything about diakinesis so listen friends here diakinesis it is nothing but see here during this phase they are condensed see they are be they became thick so here they became thick and they are assembled to separate from one another so here this is the diakinesis and also here by the end of this diakinesis the nuclear envelope disintegrates and the nucleolus also breaks down this is the end of the diakinesis so we have seen about the prophase 1 friends we have completed prophase 1 now let us discuss about a new word that is synchronous process do you know anything synchronous process listen friends synchronous process here synchronous process is nothing but in centrosomes do you know where the centrosomes is giving or where it are living yes friends you are right here the centrosomes are in the animal cells so here the centrosomes a pair of centrioles listen friends here a pair of centrioles in the animal cell they migrate to the opposite poles here in this listen friends the centrioles move to the opposite poles and also here the centrosomes duplicate during the s phase what is s phase yes friends you are right synthesis phase so they are duplicating at the synthesis phase and they work or it functions as the microtubules it is and the next one is friends you know here these centrosomes enter into the microtubule or it enter into the nuclear after the nuclear envelope disintegrated so here the kinetochore attaches to the microtubule this is called kinetochore microtubule see friends here the kinetochore acts or it functions as the motor pulling the chromosomes to the opposite directions so it is a synchronous process friends so we have completed the synchronous process so what is the next one yes friends you are right here the next one is metaphase 